Hey ladies, welcome back to Lulu's Boutique Academy. Okay, if you can't tell by the title, um, this is about Etsy. So, let's start off with a few things. I personally do not push for people to use Etsy long term. Just because I think that Etsy um, has kind of gone back on what it used to be. It used to be all about uh, handmade products or one-of-a-kind products and now it lets China come in and post their things that are not handmade and Etsy charges pretty good fees, pretty high fees. Um, so I just don't push, I don't encourage anyone to use Etsy long term. However, I do think that using Etsy when you're starting off or when you're still trying to grow your fan base it's a good way to grow your fan base if you do it correctly because a lot of people who don't know about your boutique or about the boutique world on Facebook's presence um, will automatically shop on Etsy for handmade hair bows or one of a kind hair bows and such things like that. So I recommend starting off on Etsy um, and maybe using it for a couple of years to grow your business on Facebook because what happens is when someone finds you on Etsy and they check out, hopefully if you're doing things correctly, you're recommending them to follow you on Facebook and see where all the real action happens on your Facebook presence. Your presence on Facebook should be large, which is how you maintain, retain your customer base. Um, that's the biggest number one way how I gained um, new steady a new steady flow of customers coming in is through Etsy every time someone bought on Etsy I would send a little note in their package that said hey check us out on Facebook we go live every week blah 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 they come over there and they they buy way more than just one item that they would normally buy on Etsy if that makes sense so what I'm gonna do is turn the camera around I'm gonna show you my Etsy um, there's barely, barely anything on Etsy, if anything, right now because I just don't use it anymore. I mean, every now and then I'll get a sale of like a grab bag or something like that. Um, but really, I just don't use it anymore because of all the things I listed private previously. Another thing I'm going to show you is a website. Um, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I used it, but if I remember correctly, it's free. Um, and it basically teaches you and helps you to see exactly what improvements you can do with your Etsy. So basically, I'm about to show you things you can do with your Etsy, and then I'm going to show you that website, which shows you things you may not have caught that can help you score higher as far as like when Etsy shows you like Etsy. I've said Etsy 500 times already. Um, it's like Google engine search, basically. Like whoever, if when they type in handmade hair bow, what's going to make your page show up first or your item show up on one of the first few pages? Because no one's going to go to page 10 to see your item. They want to see you on the first page or two at most um, in order to shop your item. So let's get into that. Okay, so this is what the main um, uh, page of my Etsy looks like. And like I said, there's not going to be a ton of items on here just because I don't really use it very often. But starting off, the banner is going to be really, really important. Um, you don't have to have a picture of yourself up there. Um, maybe I'm a little vain. I don't know. I just decorated something that like mainly I put that picture so that when they saw me live that they knew they were in the right spot. But logo, a picture, and then up in this corner I just have like a little collage of some of the items that I sell. I, I designed this myself besides the actual logo here in the middle. Um, I want to say Jill designed this. I'm pretty sure Jill designed it. Um, I could be wrong. Um, so having a banner that is um, matching with your colors. I think I've talked to you guys about your colors matching um, so that when people see your theme you're using like the same colors in a lot of your postings or in your logos and stuff like that. They know that it's you. Another thing that I have that um, is unique to me is the bow here. Um, Jill and I had this bow designed um, specifically for us. So she has a pink one and I have a teal one. We also have the matching tattoos on our arms actually. Um, I'm not telling you to go out and get tattoos. I'm just saying like that bow is very specific to Jill and I. So when you see that bow, you know that that is us. Um, so just find something that is very unique to you so that when your customers see it, they know that this is your stuff. Um, so um, yeah, banner, making sure you have a good banner. It's very, very important. Having your, um, your contact area 
um, updated is really important too. Let's see. I'm going to click on it and click read more. Having this area filled out is important per Etsy's, um, per Etsy's like, uh, you know, algorithms, having this stuff filled out is important. Let's go back. So one thing that is super, super, okay, I'm going to say like one thing that's super important about every single thing that I say, but um, like I talked about in pictures, having a very clear white background. So something that I tend to do when, when I first started out, I would just take pictures on like a, a, a pretty background because it was pretty, but it was hiding from or it was covering up the clearness of the pictures. So having all of your pictures look the same, like laid out like in one way would be good. So if you're taking a picture of a bow, take the same angle of, of a new bow every time you take a picture, it would be good. Um, I tend to do this one or this one now because I want my page to flow in symmetry, if that makes sense. Like if all the, the ribbons are going this, in the same angles, excuse me, then it just makes it look more cohesive and neat and professional. So let's go ahead and open one up. <sighs> Having, so I think Etsy offers like six to eight pictures, something like that now. Filling up as many pictures as you can. Obviously when it comes to ribbon, there's only so many pictures you can take, but if I'm being completely honest, I could have posted that as a picture and 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 that as a picture to fill them all up. Um, but you want to use as many pictures as you can. So when you're taking your bow pictures, just keep them on. Like I told you in the photo session, taking different angles, taking a picture of the back and the side and, and taking, um, using a model in the picture, all of those things are very, very important. But another thing I started doing is a page like, or a picture like this, where I just designed something where it, this just says, we always want you to be more than satisfied with your purchase. Please feel free to send a message with any questions. All of our ribbons are U.S. designer prints. Most are designed by our very own Jazzy Lou Ribbons brand. Our ribbons are high quality cross screen prints. Printing using the silk screen process, using ink and glitter or foil in most cases. We hope you love your goodies. It's basically just a, an introduction to the product that they're getting. So if you're selling a bow, for example, you just wanna say like, this bow was handmade, handmade by myself. We use extra strength, thread, high quality ribbons, whatever sort of things you wanna throw in there so that they know exactly the quality of product that they're getting. It's very, very important to them to know like you're not getting junk you're getting high quality stuff and, and that is why it's priced the way it is. And I don't talk about pricing here and I, I really don't encourage you to talk about pricing. Um, but this is just kind of a thank you and an introduction to the pricing. And then the last picture I have is basically just like my business card, just so they can see, um, you know, my name, my email, my website, they can see what I own just to fill another spot. And so they know where they can shop. Um, so another thing, a big, 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 big thing over here is this title, or this description, I guess. The, the description is the title for Etsy, basically. I'll explain. When you are putting a title on your Etsy, you do not want to say like watermelon hair bow, or I wouldn't want to say watermelon ribbon. I want to use every possible description of this ribbon I can in the title because when Etsy's using its algorithms it is not searching your description to find out that this is watermelon ribbon it is searching your title so printed gross grain watermelon ribbon watermelon seeds gross grain US designer 7 8 inch gross grain ribbon USDR which means US designer obviously and Jazzy Lou ribbons I just put in things in here that I thought maybe people would search in the search bar. And actually, now, now that I'm looking at it, I would totally change this to say, um, I would keep in watermelon ribbon for sure. I would keep in grass grain ribbon for sure, seven eighths inch ribbon for sure. Um, I would probably put in like glitter ribbon. Um, this ribbon has glitter in it and I think people search glitter ribbon often. So try to think of the things that you're typing in when you're searching for a product and use those words in your title. And then in your description, be as clear and repetitive as you possibly can. My camera's kind of focused on the reviews, but as clear and as, as um, detailed as you possibly can in your description. I will say that a lot of your Etsy customers probably aren't even going to read the description just because people tend to be lazy, A, and B, they shop on their phones and they don't always click 
the read more about this product uh, buttons. I personally use my PC for almost everything, but I know like 90% of the world uses their phone. So keep that in mind. Um, maybe you can put something that's really, really important about your item in the title. Um, but everything that I could possibly want, including putting my website in there, um, including putting like if you're interested in changing up the qu quantities of ribbon, um, put in like if you want something custom done or something changed about your bow or whatever the product it is you're selling can be put in this description here and then um, I would highly 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 recommend I don't even know if I have any right here let me see one second I can't even pause my video um, I'll show you guys in the group but I'd highly recommend putting in like a card in your package that basically says um, please leave us a review. We'd really appreciate it. Um, and then do some sort of thing. Maybe we're like, um, to encourage them to leave a review, say, you know, once a month, I'll do a drawing for a free goodie item. Um, if you leave her for all the people who left a review this month or something like that, just to encourage them, but typically just saying, Hey, would you mind leaving a review or how did you, um, feel about your product would be, um, encouragement enough for some people to leave a review. Now, Usually like maybe four people out of 10 buying are actually going to leave a review, but it is really, really helpful when you get some good reviews in there. So this other part over here is also super, super important. Like I said, I'm going to say everything is important. Literally being as detailed as you possibly can in every aspect of your Etsy shop is important. Um, how long does it take to ship? What is the cost of shipping going to be? Where is it shipping from? And then your shop policies. Shop policies help so that if you ever have any any issues, your policies will protect you. So um, one thing about Etsy is I really don't feel like it super sets with the seller very often. Um, I haven't really had many cases open, but every now and then, you know, if a package gets lost or something like that, you might get a case filed on you. And nine times out of 10, Etsy is going to side with the buyer just because that's how Etsy is. But um, making sure you have tracking obviously is always important and making sure that in your, if you're selling a custom item, as long as your listing says custom, Etsy will sell, will side with you. Um, so I mean, don't put custom if it's not custom, but if you put that it's a custom item and there's no returns, Etsy will typically side with you if anything were to happen like that. Y'all, I feel like I talk way too fast. I'm so sorry. Um, so now let me show you the website that I was going to, oh, let me actually show you, um, in the shop manager, um, in listings. In your listings, something I would recommend is go through your expired or sold out items and renew them. Um, even if, um, what was I going to say? Um, I'm not renewing them. Sorry. What I was going to say is go through every once a month probably and just update your listing, like change something in the wording or change something in the description. Because what I found is when you edit it, it kind of bumps your listings back up to the top. I found that almost every single time I came into Etsy and I edited or updated something about one of my listings, I would get a sell. Like within 30 minutes to an hour, I would get a sale. So I think it has something to do with Etsy's algorithms where they see like something has been updated. Let's push out this item to the viewers and then I would get a sale almost every single time. So that's what I want to say about that. Now let me show you the website I was talking about. Okay, so this is what Etsy rank looks like. Let's just get off those ads and come over here. This is what Etsy rank looks like. Let's see. Um... When you log in, you first log in to rank.com. Like I said, it's free. Um, it is going to ask you to connect your Etsy account to your Etsy rank account. You're going to go ahead and do that, and it's going to pull in everything you had. As you can see, it matches my sales. It'll tell me where I rank on it. Um, it'll tell you how many active listings, how many missing images, your value, spelling issues you have, missing attributes you have, unique tags that you have. You want your tags to be very unique, by the way. Um, and how many missing tags. So also tagging in Etsy is very important. Um, tags, let me show you. Tags should be down here somewhere. 
So here you can see um, items or words that I've used to tag my um, listing. So back over here, if I go, everything is green in my shop now, and that's because I've used Etsy Rink for so long that I just know kind of how to do it. Um, but let's see, man, missing images. Here's missing images. It says that I'm missing five images, and that's because it's counting three for each. See how these are in red over here on the right-hand side? Can you see that? Oh, you can't see that. These are red over here on the right-hand side, and this one's orange. Um, I think at six to eight, it would be green. Six to eight images, it would be green, and then it would rank me higher on Etsy to show more um, to show more people my items. Um, so I can click over here. So to click on listing audit, it's actually going to audit my that one listing for me and show me exactly what I need to fix. So it's graded a B, which obviously an A is going to be the best one. You can see this is this is a grade that Etsy rank assigns your listing based on how well we believe it is following Etsy's best practices. The grade does not reflect the number of views or sales, but the the more it uh, ranks high on Etsy's best practices, the more Etsy is going to show it. So suggested recommendations is one. So let's see, what is it recommending we do? Um, suggestions are here. It looks like your title may have been written for computers, not humans. Instead of titles like personalized drop kit, men's leather drop kit, groom's kit, blah, 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 which is exactly how I write it, try writing it in a short sentence such as monogram, leather, drop kit, groomsman, gift, so more readable than just words. So I could change that and it would probably rank me higher. Um, it's saying the title is too long for this listing, so I could make it down. It's okay, but make sure you lead with your most important keywords. So it's going to give you all the recommendations it possibly can to help you make your listing the best it could possibly be. Um, it analyzes, it gives you an analysis. I don't think analyzing is a word. It, analyze, it gives you an analysis of exactly the difference. So you can see these are in green. Um, it tells you exactly what you need to do. Your title may be um, too long. It said that up there. So, so really, there's not too many things wrong with this. But here you go. Like here is a. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to show you that down there. Here's a red X of something I need to fix because it doesn't recognize USDR. It thinks that that's a misspelled word when really we all know that that is something that is actually searched. So I know that I'm good there. Um, multi-word tag so I probably use the word supplies too many times here you can actually edit it straight from Etsy rank if I am remembering correctly it could have changed things like I said it's been years since I've used it but this website was a lifesaver and a game changer for me 100% because it helped me go through every single so this Sorry, I, I went too fast. It helps me go through every single listing, every single word that is on my Etsy and helps me sh helps me edit it and make it as best I can. So I clicked on supplies um, and it brought me to the most, most popular tags for my niche. So crafting supplies, supplies, craft supplies, and see crafting supplies and craft supplies. You can use them both. Repurpose supplies. So so this will show you, obviously yours is going to look different than mine because you're doing bows or key fobs or whatever you're doing, um, tumblers, t-shirts, and it's going to show you the most popular words that you could use. And over here it tells you also like what is ranked the highest. Let's just go back into mine. Um, let me see, what else can I show you guys? I highly, 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 this is also another good thing up here, keyword list. Can you see that? Right there, keyword list. Um, oh, you have to upgrade it. Darn it. You have to upgrade it to use some of the features of this. Um, what else can I show you? Oh, this is where you can go and edit it on Etsy. So when you see it and it gives you like what you can fix about it, you can just click edit on Etsy. It takes you directly to the listing in your Etsy shop. So you can just edit it right here. So I could have add, I could add more pictures. Um, you can even add a little video of it. I mean, I think you all know how to use the back end of Etsy. And if you don't, I will make a whole different video on that. Um, another thing is, is if you don't have an Etsy and you want to open an Etsy, I can give you, I think, 30 free listings or 40 free listings. 
Um, if you have not opened an Etsy shop yet or you want to open a new one and restart all together, I can make I can give you 40 free listings. So I'll put that in the group. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to show you guys about Etsy. Like I said, it's not something I would use long, long term, but at least for the first year to three, maybe depending on how slow you're going, how fast you're going, um, just to bring in new customers. It is a great resource to grow your business and get your stuff seen. So I hope that helps you out a lot. If you have any questions, take it to the group and I'll get you helped out as much as I can. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hey, I just wanted to properly say goodbye because I feel like I ended it not looking at me and that's kind of awkward. So, um, just like I said in the group or in the video, if you have any questions or if there's something that I didn't cover, or if you want me to take you like step by step into the back end of Etsy and editing your listing, creating a listing and all that stuff, I absolutely can do that. Um, I just assume most people kind of know. And if you don't, that's good to ask me and I'll make a video for it. Um, I hope you guys are making a ton of money. I hope that these videos are really helping you out, helping you grow, um, helping you. The biggest thing for me, I say the biggest thing about everything, I need to stop that, is interacting with your customers. Keep interacting with your customers, your Etsy customers, respond to those messages quickly, send them a little thank you card. That's what I want to show you real quick. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, so I just print these off and I'll, I'll do a whole thing on that if you want me to. Um, Okay, so let me just show you. This is a card that I put. This is a card that I put in with um, most of my packages, especially my new customers. And it says, thanks for shopping with us. Leave a review when you get a chance. I put some hashtags that they could use. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram. Again, it has my signature bow on there and I put it in all the packages. This is what I leave in the package to help encourage them to leave a review. Tells them a few more places that they can find us at. Let me see what else. Oh, and these, so I actually designed this on PicMonkey. Um, I should, I'm probably gonna make a video about PicMonkey because I use PicMonkey for almost everything. Sorry. Um, had to have mama bear moment for a second. Um, I designed these on PicMonkey and then I print it actually at Walgreens. This is a three by five. Um, so I just have them printed at Walgreens and go pick them up and I think they're like, Walgreens has tons of coupons, so I think it ends up being like 15 cents or something like that for your photos. Um, so 15 cents to add into a package, totally worth it. Um, so this is a good idea of something to put into all your packages, not just your Etsy packages. Um, and then, of course, I'm not going to have any business cards in here because I go through them so quickly. But um, business cards usually printed same way, same way. I was for the longest time printing my business cards through Vistaprint, which sometimes I still will. But for the most part, I take my business card that is designed, um, the image that I showed you on Etsy, I print it at Walgreens into wallets, wallet sizes, and then I just cut them because it's so much cheaper than printing a real business card that's thick when most people are probably gonna look at your business card maybe write it down, maybe put it to their refrigerator or in their office or something like that, and maybe throw it away. So um, cheap way to get your business cards out there, but not have to spend money on like cardstock or Vista print or something like that. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope you have a wonderful night and let me know if you have any questions regarding Etsy. Bye.